Royal drama at the heart of Europe. High society eyebrows are raised at engagement rumors between Danish prince who quit royal duties and influencer Harris to the defunct Italian throne whose very pushy mother cuddles up to Euro royals. Greetings from Royal Family Lud, my channel. When rumors of an engagement between Princess Maria Chiara di Bourbon II Sicilies, 18, and Prince Christian of Denmark, 17, started to circulate, eyes were raised in aristocratic circles across Europe. The Queen of Denmark, who has never met her grandson's girlfriend, was possibly the most shocked, according to Chiara, despite the dashing young prince's lengthy affinity with the former royal. Chiara may have known Christian's parents Princess Mary and Crown Prince Frederick for a long time, but royal observers are curious as to what Margaret, who last year stripped her own family of titles, will think of the aristocrat who lives in Rome. Chiara and her sister Princess Maria Carolina de Bourbon, 19, are known to chase the spotlight, often posing for pictures on lavish excursions and giving candid interviews to Italian media. This is unlike many European royals. The two also have their own YouTube channel and a sizable Instagram following. On both platforms, they frequently pose questions to one another, such as have you ever been in love? And have you ever been kissed? Kayara recently described her relationship with Christian as very special in an interview with the Italian newspaper Corriere. We've known one other since we were kids. In fact, my father, Carlo, is Josephine's younger sister's godfather. She said Christian knows how to stay in his place, and I hope to meet Queen Margaret soon. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Given their family's history in show business, chasing the limelight and boasting about their connections may not be surprising. The youngest child of Prince Carlo, Duke of Castro, and Princess Camilla, Duchess of Castro, is the Italian Harris, Christian's parents, Crown Princess Mary, 54, and Crown Prince Frederick, 55, are family friends of hers. They've also spent a lot of time in Monte Carlo and are close to the scandal-plagued Prince Albert of Monaco. The Spanish royal family's cadet branch, the House of Bourbon II Sicilies, which descended from the Capetian dynasty and ruled over Sicily and southern Italy in the 18th and 19th centuries, has a claim to the now-defunct throne. Prince Carlo is the heir apparent to this throne. Although she won't inherit the titles, she claims that she still bears the same responsibility to carrying on my royal family's history. I sense a connection to the region under Bourbon rule. I recently traveled to Hungary on business with my parents, and I'm still getting my bearings. I got the idea that having a royal highness may entail a living up to expectations rather than letting people down, she answered, it's a responsibility. Princess Camilla, also known as Camilla Crociani, is her mother and the daughter of Italian business magnate Camilla Crociani and actress Eddie Vessel. Kayara is not afraid to use her contacts, even though the Danish royal family has not yet responded to the rumors. She claimed that the Bourbon family was linked to practically all of the royal houses and former dynasties in Europe. King Felipe VI of Spain is my father's cousin, and I have a close relationship with Leonor, the hare, who shares my passion of sports, especially women's football. Then, during the summer in Street Tropas, the Belgian royal family frequently visited us. Alexandra of Hanover, Carolina of Monaco's youngest daughter, is one of my closest friends. As a result of a protracted conflict with her sister over their inheritance that has lasted more than 10 years, Camilla is not as close to her family as her sister. The conflict in the family started when Christiana and Camilla's mother, Italian movie star Edorda Crociani, established a trust fund for them. But Christiana was concerned that her sister was receiving the money after 100 million pounds in investments and artwork were withdrawn from the fund and put in Edorda's name in 2010. The socialite filed a lawsuit in 2011, alleging that she was being prevented from inheriting the family's estate. But Princess Camilla has steadfastly refused to reveal the whereabouts of priceless items, including a £49.9 million artwork. Details of the dispute came to light when Princess Camilla was fined £2 million by the Royal Court of Jersey for disobeying a court order. She now has two months to pay the £2 million fine or face a 12-month prison sentence after her request to have the judgment temporarily suspended was denied. The fine, which was issued on December 22, has been appealed by Princess Camilla on the grounds that she does not have immediate access to £2 million. In connection with the order, she also asked for an application of stay, 
or a postponement of the legal process. However, the court rejected this, pointing out that the princess had been aware of the likelihood of a significant fine for some time. The case is still open. Kiara and her older sister Maria live a life of luxury, traveling between Italy, Monaco, Paris, and street tropes to enjoy the sun, wear fashionable clothing, and take advantage of their wealthy relatives. They speak English, French, and Italian with ease and are actively involved in charitable work, mixing with Europe's most prominent socialites. The two princesses frequently post images from all over the world, including Paris, Dubai, and New York, on Instagram to showcase their opulent lifestyles. Because Chiara is the younger child, Maria Carolina, Duchess of Calabria and of Palermo, or Carolina for short, will receive her older sister's titles, responsibilities, and claim to be the head of the House of Bourbon II Sicilies instead of Chiara. The two aren't shy to flaunt their opulent lifestyle, however, as evidenced by their regular visits to Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida and Chiara's recent media interview about her trip to Denmark. This week, the two were spotted shopping in St. Tropez. Camilla chose for a frock, while Chiara went with a pair of decidedly unroyal leggings and a crop top. Chiara's family is well known and spends their time volunteering and promoting Southern Italy, despite the fact that they have no official duties. An old branch of the Spanish royal family known as the Bourbon de Dos Sicils, often known as the Royal House of Bourbon II Sicilies, ruled over southern Italian regions for more than a century, from 1734 to 1861. Even after 150 years, its descendants continue to use the name. The line derives from Philip V, 1683 to 1746, who founded the Bourbon dynasty in Spain in 1700, descended through Philip de Bourbon, Duke of Anjou, grandson of Louis XIV of France, 1638 to 1715. When the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily were annexed in 1759, the younger grandson of King Philip became Ferdinand IV and I.U.I., 1751 to 1825 respectively, of those realms. Up until 1860, his heirs held the United Throne, which had been called the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies in 1816. Giuseppe Garibaldi, an Italian general, overthrew the family, which was then ruled by Francis Sui in 1860 and declared a dictatorship on behalf of Victor Emmanuel II, the King of Piedmont Sardinia, and eventually the King of Italy. The Kingdom of Italy, which had just been created, included both the Kingdom of Sardinia and the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. The deposed Francis Sioux and his wife visited Rome as the Pope's guests and ran an exiled government there. They evacuated the city before the Italians took control of it in 1870. From that point on, they lived a nomadic lifestyle, residing in Austria, France, and Bavaria. After Francis Eu passed away in 1894, his half-brother Prince Alfonso replaced him. Prince Ferdinand Pius, Duke of Calabria, then succeeded Prince Alfonso.